Let's bring in CBC News meteorologist Johanna Wagstaff to break this all down for us. So what are British Columbians, Joe, in the affected area looking at in the days ahead? Well, Adrian, luckily, this system that's hitting the south coast tonight is not coming in too heavily. Uh, take a look at this, maybe 10 to 20 millimeters for places like Abbotsford. It's actually more of a snowmaker for the mountain passes, bringing 25 to 30 centimeters for those highways tonight. And that means significant moisture for the top of our watershed. So the real concern is the next atmospheric river starting Wednesday. And this one could bring over 80 millimeters of rain, plus all that melting snow. And Adrian, there's another one expected by the weekend. It's hard to get an accurate prediction on those rainfall totals, but you know, any rain, not great news considering how saturated the grounds are. Okay, we keep hearing that phrase. So let's talk about these atmospheric mm. rivers. Can you take us through how they just became so much of a threat? Yeah, they've been called a pineapple expresses out here, tropical punches, but atmospheric rivers are a real meteorological term and a very real hazard for the West Coast. Atmospheric rivers are literal rivers in the sky. These narrow conveyor belts transport huge amounts of water vapor from the equator northward. They're often only a few hundred kilometers wide, but can stretch thousands of kilometers long. And when they make landfall, they can bring intense rainfall in a short amount of time, rising snow levels and strong winds. As this column of air hits the mountains on the west coast, the downpours can lead to flooding, power outages and landslides. For BC, they are quite common in the fall and the winter, but climate change has already meant the intensity of these events has increased. And as the climate continues to warm and the atmosphere can hold more moisture, climate projections have shown a nearly fourfold increase in atmospheric rivers hitting Western North America by the end of the 21st century. And the threat of flood is compounded by another type of extreme weather, drought and wildfires that erode trees and soil, a natural buffer for the loss of rain. We need to plan for a future with more of these kinds of events, I'm afraid, Adrian. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Johanna, I know we will be talking again soon. Thank you for this. You're welcome.